Yo team, it's Friday. What we have to do is four time, 10 snatch, 20 box jumps, 30 handstand push-ups, 100 double unders, 30 handstand push-ups, 20 box jumps, and 10 snatches. Okay, so we go down the ladder, we have the double unders in the middle, and then we reverse back on ourselves like a sandwich, right? So, um, what we have is a pretty heavy barbell, okay, for the for the, the snatches. So it's something there that we're looking to do in single, smooth single reps or maybe doubles, okay. If you're able to hang on to that thing and just rip it out for all ten, you can go slightly heavier than the weights uh, listed, right? Um, the stimulus here is that it's something that we have to either do in singles or doubles, yeah. Um, our box jumps, it's a slightly higher box. Developing that power, okay? Big explosive hips landing on top of the box. Again, something that you can confidently walk up to and just jump on land on, okay? So it's not crazy, crazy high, just something slightly higher, yeah? Big, big drive of the hips to land on top. And then we have those handstand push ups. We're gonna burn out those shoulders. If we don't have the handstand push ups, we're gonna do them off the box or we're just gonna do regular push ups depending on where we're at with those. Then we have the 100 double unders. That is in there to keep that heart rate high and to blow up those shoulders a little bit extra to make the second half of the workout a little bit harder. Then we have our 30 handstand push-ups again, then the 20 box jumps, and then the snatches, and then we're done. Okay, so let's go do the snatch first. So this is where we take that barbell from the floor, nice wide grip. So my hands are wide enough that if the bar sits just in my hip crease, if I bend over, my hands off, the barbell stays in my hip crease, okay? Hands back on, stand back tall. Our set-up position, similar to our clean, similar to our deadlift, but I can sit my hips down a little bit lower, okay? But it's still the same in the sense, my back's nice and flat, my chest proud, my shoulders are not rolled forward, they're pulled back and down. And then I'm going to push the floor away with my feet, keeping the bar nice and close to me, fire the hips through, big jump, big shrug, Okay, real time looks like this. And then we add in the jump, the shrug, the high pose, keep the bar nice and close to us. And um, so real time, jump, shrug, high pose. Then all that's left to do is that aggressive turnover and punch to the top. Okay, so real time for your muscle snatch, we look like this. Now obviously we're gonna go full snatch or squat snatch if you want to call it that. There is a few power options in there if we're not quite there yet with the full depth. So our full snatch, that's where we take the bar and we land the overhead at the bottom of that squat. Now we know how to squat. So if I was doing overhead squat, the hips go back and down, the knees track over my toes, chest is nice and proud, pressing up on that barbell, arms straight, then we stand. So we're looking to do that just at speed. As I find my hips through, I pull myself under, land at the bottom of that squat, stand tall to complete the rep. Now, if we can't get all the way to the bottom, we're going to go power, but it's the exact same movement, exact same movement pattern. All the changes is I just squat down a little bit less, and I stop higher, then I stand tall. Okay? So if we can land at the bottom comfortably with a lighter weight, do that. Don't choose the heavier option and then go power, it is written as a squat snatch. We're only going power if our mobility um, is the limiting factor here. It's not, oh well, I can't sit all the way down with the, the weight, regardless of the weight, um, but I can power it. Well, no, I'd rather you went lighter and sat all the way down, than went heavier and just powered it because you want to put a big weight on the bar. No, not the point, right? I want you to move well, which is trying to develop full range of motion. Your body is designed to go from A, in this case, to B, okay, with a full, um, full squat, and then back tall again. So we're gonna try and develop that as much as we can. If that means you have to go mega, mega light, and just focus on that bottom position, do so, okay? The only way we're gonna get better at it. Then we've got our box jumps. Two foot takeoff, higher box for guys, 30 inch, 24 for ladies, two foot takeoff, land on top of that box for two feet, stand tall, squeeze the bum. We can jump back down, set up, and go. We can step back down, set up, and then go, whatever it may be, to get you on top of that box. If we are jumping to two foot takeoff, we can step down, we can jump down. 
I would rather, if you can jump on, let's say, something that's this high, I would rather you jump on something three, four, five, six inches off the floor than just chose to step on the box because it's a little bit intimidating, a little bit scarier. Take a couple of plates, put them on the ground, jump on top of those. You're going to develop way more power and get way fitter um, jumping on something than you will stepping on something for the stimulus of this workout, okay? And um, then we have our handstand push-ups. So for example, if we have them, we're going to get ourselves up against the wall and then go for the stripped versions. If we do have them, we're going to come down, bum on the wall, play the hip through, and we're going to kick them. Regardless, we start full arm extension, heels against the wall, showing control. We then load the head uh, forward into that tripod position, the headstand, then we drive back to full arm extension again. Scaling wise for this, if you're in my class, I'm only going to allow you one extra ab max. So this is your maximum scale, okay? If you've got flat surface, hands on the same surface as your head, that's your RX as we call it. Your maximum scale for that is you can add one extra ab max. If you start building that thing like three, four ab max high and your range of motion is this thing, there's zero point, you're only kidding yourself. You're never going to build to a full rep full range of motion rep doing this little party pump, right? Not gonna happen. What you are better off doing is getting yourself on the box, setting yourself up in that strong pipe position, and then coming full range of motion, and then all the way back to the top again. If that is too easy, okay, it's not. But if you feel that that's not as tough as uh, being up on the wall, build a deficit, okay, where my head has to go lower than my hands and I have to press through a greater range of motion. That's going to help you build towards the full range of motion up against the wall. Okay, so on the box we can go from the toes like before or we can go from our knees, same principle applied, full range of motion. If that's too much, you're going to get yourself into either a pipe push-up or a regular push-up or a regular push-up from the knees. If you can't do any of those, you're going to get yourself a seat on that box, grab two dumbbells, and then do some seated strip press. Heaps and heaps of options to keep you rolling through this workout. Okay? And then our double unders. We've done thousands of these over lockdown. Okay? So remember, I want you to calm down, jump nice and tall, and um, slow and tall, and the whip just comes from your wrist. As soon as you start to start bending those elbows, tensing up, shrugging the shoulders, arms are out here, you're gonna trip every single time. Nice and smooth, double under reps. We don't have to rush through those. We don't want to rush through those because if we burn our shoulders out even more, that second set of handstand push-ups is gonna be even harder, okay? So, um, pace those out and just groove through them. If you have to go single unders, go single unders. If you want to do doubles, but you just don't have 100 of them, do 75 of them, do 50 of them. Take a, a set time, take a minute, minute 30 to do as, as many as you can in that set time. That way you're still working the stimulus and the harder still, okay? So again, four time, 10 snatch, 20, uh, 20 box jumps, 30 high stand push ups, 100 double unders, and then we go back down the way, 30 high stand push ups, 20 box jumps, 10 snatches. Have fun guys, get after it. Let's go.